Hey, hi, hello, Vintage Potato here. Welcome to my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. There's very minimal amount of editing in this video, mostly so we can all just kind of vibe together while we explore Hyrule. Sit back, grab some snacks, and let's have a good time. From here on out, just start every Tears of the Kingdom stream with it's cuckin' time. It's cuckin' time, bitches. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> it's cucko time. <laughs> It's cucking time. <laughs> Favorite game of the year, let's go! I know, McNeil, I have been obsessed with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. We just got done with the Rito Village, and according to chat, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to the Gorons now. Listen, you just, you can't... Link is- <laughs> Link is just- I'm just remarkably strong for his size. What can I say? Have I done this yet? No, I haven't. I can't place any more pins down for some reason. Why can't I place any more pins down? I'm not going to be the one who holds you back, Link. I'm worried about Princess Zelda too, so I'll keep looking into things from this end. Okay. The Tolan's doing his jam. Oh shit! Look who showed up. Uh. Oh Link, we meet again. Kato and I came here to see a geoglyph. Sadly, they'd be thwarted by the blizzard and grounded nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We plan to get it with finding that. Uh, we plan to get on with finding that geoglyph shortly. Uh. Link, I have been wondering. Have you found the geoglyph in the southern Hebrew yet? Ooh. The map in the Forgotten Temples showed the geoglyph shaped like a cra a, ba <coughs> a castle. Oh. Shit, I can't sound like a dude. We intend to investigate the geoglyph as well. well I need to like sound like an old lady when I'm playing oh. Impa. Dude, Resident Evil 4 still has my heart and soul, man. I'm still thinking about Resident Evil 4. Is your problem you don't have enough wooden arrows? It's important to help each other in time. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, I just took these arrows from this small child. My bad. I just kleptoed that. My, whoops. It's fine. She said I could have it. That's what matters. Okay, so there's a glyph around here. Hold on. I'm gonna take your guys' stuff again. Thank you. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go up to that thing here soon. Impa is a fast moving lady, dude. Like she, that woman can hustle. Like she is everywhere all at once. Those little legs are speed demons. Dude, I know the music in the Rito village is absolutely stunning. The Zoras are my favorite when it comes to like, their their area because the trees and the rain and the wa I love the Zoran area. I'm tired and usually never get tired until like two in the morning. Oh bubbles. Yeah headaches make me instantly exhausted. Like I I almost find myself wanting to sleep a ton when I got a bad headache. You're the one who helped save- who helped Tolan save the village. We owe you a big one for that. I think we met at the Tabitha Bridge Stable. Do you remember me? I could have imagined that then you'd be the one that you- I couldn't have imagined then that you'd be the one that would save our village. Now that the blizzards died down, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we use to have in abundance. The others are all working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from here. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, not Dorito Village. Rito. Like, like, take the dough, the do part out of the Dorito. <laughs> no, Dorito, get out of here. Dorito Village, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Re to Re Take the dough, the do part out of the Dorito. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, Huck was so <laughs> Dorito Village, no! <laughs> oh 
the Dorito people use cheese to fly in the sky? What if the Dorito village is just Doritos with little legs, man? Isn't there also a Dorudo village? You mean Gerudo? <laughs> I can't. You guys suck butt. Gerudo village, Gerudo. Or the sandstorm. No! <laughs> I suck. Oh my god. Collect food from the snowfield stable in the tab of the tundra. Okay. He's on his way back to the village. So we gotta go find their their friend. Make sure that they're okay. Food looks great since the blizzard stopped, but it could be better. Happy to trade you for some supplies. I could offer you ten arrows for three glowing cave fish. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Oh, girl, I got so many. <laughs> that is a deal. I got so many glowing cave fish. It's insane. Darudo, noise. <laughs> I can't with you guys. Fish for fletching. Okay, okay, Liz. Okay, glowing cave fish, bright caps, and chillin. Yeah, I got all of those, dude. I got so many of those. Oh, that's Impa's donkey. Okay, cool. And then there's her little thingy. Man, this woman is a fast mover. The arrow plug. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Now that we've, like, opened up the village, like... I'm just... I'm collecting arrows. Don't mind me. A cave there. Uh, was it again? Oh, hello. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hello. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tolan to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over. Thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, too. It's much easier now to find the caves where we can gather food. I just saw one the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. Rock wreath and green light inside of it. Oh. Cool. Okay, it's a it's a shrine quest. Okay. Dope. Thank you. I found it while looking for that white bird. There was a white bird? Have you ever looked up at the peak in the sp uh, of the sp spire here in Rito Village? There's a white bird? That bit jutting sideways looks kind of like a bird's perch, right? We call it the Va, Mode Va Meadows Perch. Yeah, the, uh, what is it? What, what are they called? I always forget what they're called. Never thought to make that. The, what are they called? <laughs> I literally, I forgot it yesterday, too. How am I forgetting, too? I know, like, how many hours have I played in Breath of the Wild? Um, divine Beasts. Divine Beasts. It was their Divine Beasts. Are we gonna... F Do they ever explain, like, why anything from Breath of the Wild is just vanished? Like, where did the beasts go? Mm. Just to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always. Just then the dawn was breaking. We we learned about this bird in Breath of the Wild, didn't we? There's like a strange bird in Breath of the Wild that we had to go find. It's a white bird resting atop the long shadow of the Ooh. perch. Just then couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead I found a cave entrance. Kind of like the white bird led me to that cave. I don't know why I can't remember all of it was so clear, but not where the cave was. Any standout details? The divine bees! <laughs> I was lucky to find it. I don't think the area around the entrance was anything special oh. or memorable, but it was right next to the rest- Right next to a resting white bird. That much I do remember. 
Never thought to use that. I usually run away from the enemies in the depths. Oh no, I fought him. There, the 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 the, the Henix, like the undead, the Henix, for some reason, are pretty easy to actually defeat. They're they're no, they're no worse than the regular Henix. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's uh, light it up. There we go. Beautiful. Burn. Yep. Starting a mini fire. No big deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. All in day's work is Link. I, you know, <laughs> Lionels are the one thing I might struggle fighting. It's so frustrating. Yeah, there's always that one quest in Fallout, personally, that I feel like is unbearably difficult to deal with. That was your first impression of the depths? I was terrified! <laughs> I forgot what my first impression of the depths was. I think I was just more, like, dumbfounded by the fact that, like, the map is so huge in this game. I think that's like the biggest, like my, like, like my, oh my God, was like how huge, like we literally have a sky map, and then Hyrule, and then the, an, a depths map, like, like underneath Hyrule. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's like three worlds in one. And it's like the map isn't any bigger than Breath of the Wild. It's just... There's more layers to it now. So there's more like going on like up in the sky and like and then underneath it. So it's like it's technically bigger, but it's just it's more like you just took a, a single story house and made it into a three story house, basically. I believe in you. You know what? I will fight a Lionel. Maybe not today, but I will do it. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Wait, hold on. Maybe I do. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to set it down like so. Boom. See? Wow. So smart. So clever. They're so clever. To see it in Fallout 4, so I had to look up the walkthrough. Oh no, yeah, especially if the if like the mod makes things look a little darker. Oh. Is there? Can I put the hammer? Or no? Hold on, I'm gonna put another rocket. I'm gonna put a rocket on this. There we go. Okay, rocket. Oh, down. Wait, no. Oh, okay. Rocket. Groovy. Awesome. Good tap. All right. Holy shit, dude. Okay, roller coaster. <laughs> All right, and we're up. Now what? Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if this will work, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared. Give me a second. Let's see here. Okay, right? Uh, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, fine. Let's do this. Let's try it. Oh, let's try this out. Nope. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, shit. It's up there, and I didn't do that. It, you know what? We're here now, and half the time, the shit that's in the treasure isn't even, like, necessarily worth I mean, sometimes it is, but not all the time. <laughs> oh, wee! Easy. Easy shrine. Easy peasy. 
So smart I am. I should probably level up, huh? Yeah, we're kind of right there. I need one more shrine. I think we can level up pretty good. So I'm just like, screw that. Okay, let's see. Oh, now we're cold. Okay, hold on. What's this way? Okay, so it's this way. Was it... Did I highlight... What did I highlight? You know what? I'm gonna shoot myself up. And then I'll figure out what I highlighted from there. I can't remember. I want to get my things back though so I can like, um, use them again. I like to use like those, like the glowy pinpoints for uh, shrines and shit, but... I might need to use another one. Maybe I'll use like stars for shrines that I haven't gotten to yet. Okay, which direction is it? It's over here. I think, right? Yeah, what did I mark over here? Why did I mark that? What is over there? Oh, that is a shrine. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Really? That is a shrine. Let's go. It's cold weather to hot. Yeah, no, the Gerudo weather's super interesting. Super, super interesting. But you know, if you think about it, it's <clears throat> it's pretty realistic to there's a fucking those, these bitches, I'm going to struggle to fight for a while, I think. <laughs> um. But yeah, like, I feel like... It makes sense for a desert, because I feel like deserts are very much like this already. Like, very, very cold nights and, and really hot days. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm scared to fight those dragons. I want to wait until I'm much, much higher level before I even dare. Dorito weather? Yeah, Dorito weather. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all are going to make me want fucking Doritos now, and I can't. I shouldn't, rather. I grew up in kind of cold tundra area. Nothing like like a true desert like this, but desert enough to know that I feel like like the nights are still pretty hot, but definitely much cooler. I think this is obviously way more extreme. This is supposed to be like highly extreme weather. I became one with the ground. Just, you know. Oh, buddy. Hold on, let's mark him. His little boy. A little... Whoops. Where the fuck is your friend? Oh my god. Your friend is all the way over there. No. <laughs> it looks so simple, but I know there's a fucking- Yep, there it is! There's that guy in there. The second I even dare step foot in that sand, my ass is cooked. <laughs> fucking Korok over here asking for death. Look at that! Hell no, that is like a Tim Burton monster right there. I'm good. Graboids, I know, it's... <laughs> I mean, I guess I can make something. But whatever I make is not fast enough to beat that fucker. But we can try. We can try. Oh, we're mi we, we just need the ass blasters. I can make a Korok into an ass blaster, would that count? <laughs> would that count for something? Just strap a rocket to his back. <laughs> Ass 
plaster Korok. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to be doing then. Or at least attempting to do. Movie the spheres. Okay, let me guess. Wait. Excuse me? I've seen, oh my god, like, like, terrible videos of people tormenting poor Korok. Like, the poor little bastards, man. Like, I, I sincerely wonder what the Korok have done to these people. Like, some of them are acting like the Korok have beaten the shit out of their family. Like... Like... I, I have no words with how some people treated the Korok. It's like, what did it do? What did the Korok do to you? Like, fucking kill your mother? I'm just asking for a friend, man. Well, that was easy. Um, okay. Okay, let's try. Big brain. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I would disagree. Oops. Like right now. Totally backfired. That's fine. That's fine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try this again. Wait for it to roll back up. Come on. Any minute now. The Goro pooped on him. Right? Like, must have. Like, they must have. Nintendo gave yeah, they, I think Nintendo gave a little too much freedom. Luckily, the Korok, luckily the Korok can like respawn back to where they're at. But my thing is like, if you don't want to do the 900 Korok seed thing, like you don't have to, dude. Like nobody's nobody's holding you at gunpoint, man. People mad from the reward you got. I mean, what was the reward? It was like a big. It was a it was a bigger poo, wasn't it? <laughs> like what what did you get for the 900 Korok? He just gave you an even bigger shit. Yeah, and, and like and you couldn't really do anything with it. <laughs> so you're you're just like, "Oh. Thanks." <laughs> Let's see if I can help this little boy out. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was pretty bogus. I wonder if they did anything different this time to where if you did do all the 900, you actually got like a good reward. Cause that, that is, <laughs> I, I do agree. That is kind of bullshit. The fact that like literally the reward for doing all of that was just a giant golden poopy. Like, like. Literally, literally, they gave you shit. They gave you a, a huge thing of shit and said, this is what you deserve. Like, this is what you are owed, I guess. Hold on, I'm gonna save this because I feel like this could benefit me at some point. Yep. Get back together. Now, little one, come here. Oop. No! It sounded like a no. Oh my god, look at this. This shit's boiling hot. Oh my god, I could not be a Gerudo. There's... Ugh. Couldn't pay me enough. Ah, 
I'd rather be a Zora. I'd rather be a fish person. All right, let's see if we can do this without dying. Oh, good. I'm glad. Look how far we're going, guys. Really going the distance we are. I can picture the devs thinking, oh, we'll troll them with this quest. <laughs> Literally 900 Korok seeds later. 900. Like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I wasn't ready. <laughs> um. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. He's he's not okay. He's not okay. He's not okay. <laughs> What's the issue? What's the Issue, what am I doing wrong? Is it too low? Does it need to be higher? Holy shit, dude. Okay, it was too low. Got it. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> the ragdolling in this game. It's the same goddamn worm, dude. <sighs> oh my god, it's... Oh my lord, that was fucking funny. <laughs> I'm fucking r dead, dude. I thought it wasn't gonna find me from that far. I think you did it. Right as I was ragdolling in the sky, I would have died. I would have <laughs> I would have died of laughter right then and there. <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 there we go. Do the right one. Okay. <laughs> Hi Oswald, I've been doing great right now. We literally only have done the Rito Village area so far and a handful of like two glyphs is what we've done main story wise. So not too terribly far, but we've gotten, you know, we're, we're a step closer. That is for sure. Okay. Well, hold on. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Where Link got smacked and got ragdolled in his butt and then the neck rolled before it. <laughs> You'll have to send that to me. You'll have to send that to me. The ragdolling in this game is 
flipping hilarious to me. Okay, all right, there we go. Oh my god. Mulduga, I don't want to fight you. Please! Please! This is the most intense Koro saving I've ever done in my life. Drift City! We're running out of battery! Oh shit. Oh, the Gibdos are back. Okay, this isn't what I wanted, but this is still pretty cool. Oh, so dirty. <laughs> no, stop it. Okay, actually, hold on. There we go. Hell yeah. Take that, bud. Let's go. Don't hug me. I don't want to hug. Eat that. Eat that. Take that. Take that. Ooh, a Gipto guts. I didn't know they had guts. Hell yeah. Oh my god. They are absolutely terrifying. If you played Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Oh, dear God, man. That is nightmare fuel if you ever need any. That That's it right there. I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm gonna mark this area on the map. Yeah, ancient altar ruins. Okay, never mind. It's already marked. I didn't realize this is where it would take us. Yeah, they like hug you to death, literally. Like they, they hug you to death. And it's terrifying. Dang hole so dirty. Oswald, you have a good night and take good care of yourself, okay? Get lots of rest, lots of sleep. Oh my god. Yeah, the Rededs in, in Wind Waker are terrifying. You know, as cute as Wind Waker looks. Oh my god, they fly now. Uh, like, some of the monsters in that game are insane. Like, terrifyingly insane. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, mechanically great, but yeah, they're terrifying at the same time. That's literally how I feel about so many monsters in, in Zelda. You know, I think that's one of the reasons why I, I really enjoy Zelda is like I genuinely feel like like the monsters like it's such a cute game, right? You're just like, oh, cute. Look how pretty and adorable. Oh, look at this adorable little rock right here. Look at that. And then you have monsters like the Gibdos that are just absolutely fucking terrifying. Come on. Guys, I'm busy. Guys, I'm busy. I need to do something really quickly. Use attack power. Give me... Where's fire? I need fire. Fire, 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 fire. Oh. But Din Rawls would be great. I can't get on Din Rawls right now. On Din Rawls because I need to like... You know what? We need to go... I think it's good that we're doing the Gorons because I think I can get like a fireproof outfit from the Gorons. Okay, I mean, that's not how I was expecting it to look, but it works. Get out of here. Yeah, eat that. Woo! I've never seen them fly before. They're like strangely pretty with wings. They're like moths. Like Mothman moths. Navi, hi! How are you doing? How you been? 
you take care of yourself as long as you try, right? Try to take good care of yourself. Okay, scariest. What is the the Zelda baddie monster, whatever that you were the most scared of as a kid, or or now, or just in general? What? <laughs> Which one is the scariest to you? Because I'll t I'll show you mine. I'll show you the one that I think scared the crap out of me the most. The Redeads? Yeah, the Redeads are pretty up there. The Redeads are very much up there. Especially because of like, personally, in Ocarina of Time, they were fucking terrifying. And, and Majora's Mask. But I really do think Wind Waker said... <laughs> Wind Waker was like, how can we take something that's already scary and make them more terrifying? And then they said, ah, you know what? Let's <laughs> let's take the Redeads and just make them more horrific. And knowing what the Redeads are, it always makes it worse. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, Dead Hand. Yeah, the hands are scary too, and I think made almost more terrifying. I feel like in Tears of the Kingdom, when I see those fucking hands coming at me, I'm... My cheeks are clenched, dude. Is that a keys? Is that, is that a keys? Oh yeah, that's a keys. I just woke him up. I woke him up from his nap. <laughs> um... Yeah, the forest temple was low-key. And they move so creepy, dude. And they kind of like wiggle a little bit. But I'm doing pretty good, Navi. Thank you. The dead hands from Ocarina of Time are scary, too. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see. They're like very scary. I was actually going to pull up the dead hand and put him on the screen because <laughs> he scares me so much. <laughs> The dead hands are really fucking scary. I'm curious if they're going to put, um, like, like, how do you have such an adorable game? A gorgeously, like, gorgeous, adorable game. And then you have this fucking thing. Like, just a pure, like, da, 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 da. like, like, imagine that thing just coming at you, man. Oh my God. I would shit my bricks. Are new friends they are they are not new friends okay the wall masters are pretty scary but i think they're even more scary weirdly enough in tears of the kingdom i think tears of the kingdom took wall masters and made them more terrifying than they already are hands down the most dark zelda monster dude ocarina majora's masks thought of some of the scariest monsters Dude, I know. Oh, Look at this thing. And then it's got like little hands that pop out of the ground. Imagine. Oh, God. This thing is like a nightmare fuel right here. Oh, with those teeth. Man, can that thing smile? Got smiles for days, this thing does. Yeah, the whole dungeon was just blood. It was, it's crazy. And you think, man, for a kid's game, they would never. But no, they, they really said... Like, what? <laughs> they said, fuck them kids. <laughs> Let's give them nightmares. And that is how they were made. I hate him. I hate him so much. Every time I replay Ocarina of Time and I get to that part, I'm like, right. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Dude, Hyrule's got some crazy dark history and some crazy looking monsters too. I, I personally, I think, I think Tears of the Kingdom did pretty good making some of them pretty scary again. Cause I kind of miss that aspect of like scary, scary versions. There's something cool about having, come on. Stop flying around. I didn't think that they could fly. Here. I guess I could shoot him out of the sky, but I want to use my new weapon. Ooh, a Gipto wing. Good. Good fucking job, dude. 
Is, is there anything else down here? She's pointing. She's pointing over there. There's something over there? Maybe? I don't know. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing with creepy Zelda though. That means, wait. Hold on. I heard a fucking frog. I'm I'm I vibe with creepy anything though. And that's one of the reasons why I really like Zelda is that the there are like creepy aspects to. <gasps> There's some fashion in there. There's fashion in there. The middle one. And there's a frog. Okay. Okay, I gotta get up there somehow. I gotta get back up. God damn it, the blood moon brought everybody back too. Fuck! <laughs> Shit, fuck! Okay, um, shit. I just need to get up a little high. I just, I just need like a, a platform or something. Hold on. Any platform in here that, oh, ooh. Here, who's this? Get back here. Get back here. Okay. The idea is here, though. Shit. God damn it. I I feel like the idea is there. <laughs> Not so big brained anyway. Dude, Tolan, come on. Not so big brained anymore. Maybe if I like here. Oops. Well, I should have known. Shit, fuck. This is fine. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, indeed. I'm not just wasting shit here and maybe actually... Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. This game, I swear to God. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, theoretically, this should get me there. I don't know where the core oak went, so. <laughs> I almost forgot that we were trying to take a core oak across the fucking desert, so. Oops. Okay, he's fine. He's out. Okay. Hell yeah! Did it? Okay, what's the fashion? What's the item? What, what, what are the outfits? I must add to my collection. <gasps> Is this Wind Waker outfits? Is that a- <laughs> are these the Wind Waker pants? They gotta be. the phantom green yeah these are the wind waker pants yo let's go oh my god <laughs> i have no complaints it's a phantom hourglass reference hell yeah dude i'm vibing okay worth it but um 
Okay, well, we'll come back to this. This is not what we're here for, unfortunately. We wanted to go over to the Gorons, so we're gonna go and travel. Because I would like, preferably, to get... Wait, hold on. Actually, we're gonna take a visit to... To Terrytown, real quick. Make a little side mission here. Oh my god. Dropping my controller. Oh my god, Tingle. <laughs> I think that's the one outfit I am the most proudest of finding is the Tingle outfit. And I had to like, I can't remember how I did it. Oh no, these two dudes gave me these riddles and you had to solve the riddles to find the caves where the Tingle outfit was located. And on the bright side, the Tingle outfit, literally, I think it gives you night speed boost. Yeah. Look at that shit. Tingly. A lot of outfits give you night speed boost in this game though. I've I've realized. I think that's just like like well, we don't know <laughs> what to give this outfit. Like what ability to give this outfit. So we're just going to we're just going to give it night speed boost. You have conquered Blight of Blessing. Give me some stamina. I think we're just going to stamina it up right now. Because I'm almost leveled up all of the stamina. And then we'll focus on hearts after that. Should have made your paraglider fall slower since he's seen on balloons a lot. Oh, you mean like, like gently glide? <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. Just become Tingle. All right, hell yeah, let's completely level up my stamina. Hell yes, thank you. Your being overflows with vigor. There is no need to increase your stamina vessels further. Go and bring peace to the world. Thank you, ma'am. I'm on it. Okay. Okay. got what we needed. Let's go head on over to where the Gorons are. Oh my god, if there's a fourth wheel of stamina, I would actually be okay with that because I feel like I need more stamina in this game sometimes. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm like, man, <laughs> I could use some more. Thank you. Okay, where are we at here? So there's this new guy that's like addicted, if I remember right. Okay, and then we got a mission from this little guy. And then this guy's eyes are glowing. A crazy red. So something, something's up. Something's going on here. Oh, hey, bud. What? 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 Hmm? You have a problem? You have, <laughs> you have something you'd like to say to me, sir. They were those kids. They are rock eaters. That's where all their nutrients comes from is rocks. <laughs> I love how everybody jumps up when they see you in the tingle outfit. And I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Kid, why are you why are you looking at me like that? Mm. 
I was shook. I know, it's strange because the Gorons are really nice people. Are you a traveler? You might not want to go to that restaurant over there. You probably shouldn't go to Goron City either. Ever since the Marble Rock Roast showed up, everyone's been acting funny. Big Bro was so happy to get into Unibo Co. too. But now, it's like he doesn't even care. He feels like a stranger to me. Yeah, you know, the team that digs up or around here and sells it and stuff. Big Bro was always feeling proud about the growth of Goron City, saying it's all things to Uniboko. You think they're, they're the Tingle outfit? Like, come on, this is a beautiful outfit. What do they have to be offended by? What, a man in tights? Yeah, psh, get over it, all right? The city's been feeling weird. Yeah, they're the yummy rocks that Uniboko sells now. They're like everywhere. You can find them in caves around here, kind of all over the place lately. Everyone says they're super tasty, but they're so hard and crunchy that us kids and elders can't eat them. Our teeth can't handle that crunch. Not even his eyes look the same anymore. It's like he was never my big bro at all. Oh shit. Hey dude, how you doing? The marbled rock roast is sold out. Is sold out here. This is the last of the last. Mm -hmm. What is Uniboko doing then? They better not get uh, get on it and dig up more. Pronto. Oh! Dig up marbled rock roast. It's your job. Come on, cut this out. Mm. Once I finish this marbled rock roast, I'm heading to Goron City to buy more. Uh, tool, Tully. Go get the rupees together. Big bro, you're always wanting to be part of Uniboko and you finally got in. But now you're just sitting here munching. Wow. I'm trying to, I'm perplexed here. Like, the Goron's issue is an addictive piece of rock, I see. Meanwhile, the Zoras are like full of oil and sludge. Gerudo's having like extreme weather changes and the Rito. What? 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 Hmm? You got a problem? You got an issue with me, sir? No, we're not done here. I didn't like the way that you looked at me there. Yeah, I got the marble rockers have them hella tripping over it. Like... Everybody's got like these crazy issues and then the Gorons are over here like, mmm, <laughs> rock roast. <laughs> Lucky, hi, how are you doing? Things have been good, things have been good. I hope you've been good. Most importantly, I hope you've been okay. Things have been good for you. <laughs> I love how offended everybody gets with this, with my outfit, with my tingle outfit. <laughs> All right, let's go to Goron City. I could use the outfit. Demonic rock roast. <laughs> Not the demonic rock roast. Okay, things are probably gonna get hot here. And I don't think I have the right attire. Like at all. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna light on fire here pretty soon. So I wonder where I'm going to be able to get the fireproof outfits. I mean, the wolves are running around here just fine. Hey, little guy, what's up? Are you okay? You fine? Bud? Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, little guy. Little guy. Hello? Okay, there we go. That started the conversation. Just been living good. Good. I'm glad to hear. I'm really glad to hear. I'm glad things have just been going. Life doing its thing. Okay, you got separated. Tell me, tell me, where's your friend? Okay, your friend has some distance. Luckily, yeah. it's just back behind us. I wonder if I could just shoot him on the, the railway here. Hold on. There is like a little 
right? Maybe not. Okay, we'll deal with him in a bit. Here, let me mark him on our map here. Oh, I already did. Never mind. He's been marked. Okay, I wonder how far up I can go before I light my ass on fire. I feel like I agree. Yeah, I feel like this environment would be extremely hostile for for the Korok. They're literally made of wood. So I feel like <laughs> they get this high up. They're just going to light up on fire. Catapult the Korok. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. <laughs> Genius idea. What's even in here? We got some stuff going on here. Okay. I'm... Mm. I wonder if I should do that side quest. First. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, we're still tumbling. <laughs> we were still tumbling down that hill. <laughs> My bad. Wow, that was uh, that was a one hit and I was out kind of situation. One hit down, if you will. Oh my god, Willie, you're making me want chicken nuggets. Oh, chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce, especially. <laughs> Link running in is heroically ready to ready to defend and, and help the innocent get smacked one hit down. <laughs> Oh man, sucks to suck, dude. I wonder if I should do that side quest. I feel like the side quest might assist us. Assist us in getting that outfit. The Legend of Zelda. Over. Done. There is no more legend. Link's dead. What a what the hell? Is that a Helion? Just chilling? Hey, bud. Aww. What are you do? What? What's up, bud? You trying to get into this cave? I'm not one to stop folks, but I'll tell you, it's boiling inside the cave. You'll be burned to a crisp going in there like that. Aww. The caves here have lava in them, so it's burning hot inside. You'll turn to dust unless you're a Goron. For Helians like us, we have to do something extra to protect ourselves. Mixing fireproof lizards with monster parts to make fireproof elixirs, for example. I can't help out the ingredients, but if you have them, feel free to use that pot over there to make what you need. Me, I'm completely drenched from top to bottom, so I won't be getting burnt anytime oh. soon. Hey, buddy. You after the marbled rock roast? There are some in there, but the path to them have collapsed and you have to be careful. Okay, well, hold on. Wait, so you're just gonna drench yourself in water and then go into a place full of lava and assume that you'll be okay for longer than like 30 seconds? That doesn't sound smart. Hot dude bathing in a pond. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he's doing, isn't it? This isn't creepy. Look at him patting those titties. Yeah, he patting them titties. <laughs> okay, Chad. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's doing. Patting titties. <laughs> you can't tell me it's not what's happening here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I know I have a fireproof lizard, I think. Holy fuck. <laughs> My fierce deity sword. 
Okay, this is fine. What is on fire? Oh, it's just me. Good. <laughs> Good, never mind. I take that back. It's just me on fire. Nothing to be taken seriously here. I'm on fire. <laughs> Link is on fire, dude. I was really concerned for a second. <laughs> I thought one of my weapons was like burning and you know, I didn't really come to think that maybe if I just like if it was one of the outfits, it would have like already been on fire by this point. He's smoking. <laughs> oh no. I gotta get this thing over there. Oh good God. What? Where did they find these perfectly cut? Weirdly perfectly cut. You know what? This looks like gloom type stuff. Do you think it's I think it's connected to the gloom? Is my best guess. I wonder if there's a way to like um get it over there. Ooh, yep. There we go. That'll do her. Just throw that over there real quick. Okay. Maybe a little rocket ship. We'll be on our way. Okay, we're gonna ooh, set that down. Where did I throw it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Hello? How many did we need to bring the guy? Hold on, let me let me activate the actual quest here. Okay, nope, that's not it. Something something Meat for meat. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, okay. This is the quest. What does it say? He won't let Mezzer leave until he brings more of the marbled rock. How many though? Just one? Because my ass is only going to bring one. Maybe. It, it really depends. Hold on. Let me see how many I can get over here. It's going to set this down. All right, making some stones here. There we go. Would you let me eat molten glass? It was prepared like a Goron. Buy a Goron? No. <laughs> Cause you're still a. Oh God, these aren't gonna last. I guess I could just do this. Oh my god, I could just do this this whole time. Are you shitting me? Okay! Groovy! I don't know how many I need. Oh my god, they are so many. There are so many over here. I feel like three's enough, right? I made it way harder than I needed to, but when's that? When don't I? Like, when, when... When, when don't I make things more difficult? Here, we'll connect these. Ha! Okay. Well, I need to make sure that I don't step in the lava. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There we 
go. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. <laughs> Went a little too hard there. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. I bet you. And then we can just do that. All right. Perfect. Let's go. We got what we needed. Got multiple of what we needed. Look at that. Yeah, pro tip, Link isn't lava proof. Thank you. Wow. Would never have guessed. Thanks. Bumpkin, hi, how are you doing? How are ya? Okay, if we just gently... Okay. <laughs> and we just, all right, okay, all right. Perfect. Now we just need to crawl in. Okay, awesome. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go. I'm doing pretty good though, pretty freaking good. Hi, Twilight. Yeah, have fun with Phasmo. Thank you for the lurk, Twilight. Have a good time with Phasmo. Hold on. Give me a second. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, any way you slice it, this is worth more than one marbled rock roast. Guess I've got no choice but to try those caves past the cart tracks again. But now how am I supposed to get past the lava? Hey, hey um, hey, hey guys. I got something. Hey, you mind? That's mine. That's not, I'm not trying to grab it. Okay, 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 okay. What if? What if I... Okay, what if I grab it and talk to you with it in my hand? Okay, that's all I needed to do was present. I love the Goron music. I am a huge fan of Goron music. <laughs> It's like some of my favorite music. I don't know why. It just is. Hey, that's... No, that's a marbled rock roast. Hey, you. That marbled rock roast. Would you trade it for me? For this. Thanks. I owe ya. Okay, does this make us square? So long as I've got marbled rock roast, I've got no complaints. Yikes. Of gross from Skyrim. Yeah, it does. We are longing tonight. Ah. Second, it looks like really pretty. You got it. You know what, Sarah? No shame in walkthroughs either. This game's gorgeous. And once you figure out the rhythm of the game, it's pretty easy to figure out. Like, like, I feel like the mechanics get pretty simple once you, you know, follow the little, little walkthrough, figure it out. You got it. I love this game. I know you would too, Sarah. I know for a fact you would love this game. Oh, I love Goron music. But yes, we're doing Lonkin stuff today. I see a meat. I'm a meat man when I heard this place served a roast to die for. I came running. Little did I know the meat here is actually rocks. <laughs> This isn't a meat or a rock. It's the rarest thing I own. Take it with my thanks. Thanks, buddy. Ah. Oh, before you go, have you heard about the rumored beast? If that creature's really out there, I'm going to find out if it's edible. Wait, why are you trying to eat things, guy? When you love meat, it's just what you do. Figured I'd hit the stables and ask around for the... <gasps> When you love meat, you go out and try and find everything you can sink your teeth into. A meat man. <laughs> He's a meat man. I like this guy. <laughs> God damn it. So 
somebody get this man to an Arby's. Seriously. <laughs> Quick stat. Get this man some meat so he can stop biting things. Anything can happen on your birthday sometime. True. Ooh. That is true, Sarah. Not strangers anymore, buddy. If you see me out there in the wilds, give me a shout. Do you want me to give you meat too while we're at it? Until then, take care. Oh, Megan! I have no idea why the sound alert didn't go off. To be honest, I feel like my stream elements has been acting up. Like really slow. Like it's been acting slow. Twitch baby, ayo! Twitch baby! <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Thank you for the sub. The, the nine full freaking months, dude. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Dude, Stream Elements took a hella PTO tonight. Like, it's been working, but it's been running really slow today. Like, it'll eventually show up, I feel like. It's just gonna, like... Hold on, let me reload the overlays. Maybe that's what it needs. Give a little restart, a little refresh. Nope, that did nothing. So we're technically on the on the on a we're we're up one. <laughs> I don't know why it's acting slow. But thank you, Megan. Thank you. It'll 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 move. Got dirt pudding cup. Holy shit, job. Oh my god, dirt pudding. I forgot about that. It's a shame, but it looks like Marbled Rock Roast isn't on the menu anymore. I took a detour from my travels and came all this way to try it, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, my apologies for the delayed introduction. My name is Gomo. I travel the world sampling every rock under the sun. I suppose that's why I'm known as Gomo, the Gormomand. Goromond? Goromond. Yep, heard your name before, I'm sure. I must ask, have you had any flint to spare? Inside some flint is a rare, especially delectable, repident flint. Okay, ripened flint, sorry. If you could have any ripened flint you find, I'd pay 1,000 rupees per piece. Ripened flint looks like normal flint, and you won't know one way or another if it's ripened until you try to eat it. Yikes. Look at his little feet! <laughs> I just now realized, look at his little toesies! <laughs> his little teeny feeties! <laughs> this is why you don't eat everything, dude. Don't eat everything. <laughs> you won't know if it's good unless you eat it. <laughs> look at his little toes, man! <laughs> A healthy 50. Got room for 100? I don't know how much flint I have, but sure, take 100. Fuck it. Give me some money. I got so much flint, dude. The polite way to enjoy it is to roll it silently beneath the tongue, allowing it to dissolve. Hmm. This is, this is exactly what Spud says when they're eating... <laughs> when they're eating molten glass. Oh me, oh my. What have we here? It's ripened flint. Sharp edges that bite the, at the tongue. A gravelly mouth feel with per, particulate, particulate that sticks between the teeth. Oh my God, I can't read this guy's vocabulary. There can we be no doubt. This is indeed an authentic ripened flint. Because you won't let me. Yeah, because I'm definitely in control of what you eat, Spud. <laughs> You're the one stopping yourself. Here you are. 1,000 rupees as promised. I look forward to a stupendous relationship with you. I gave him 100 rupees. Or not rupees. I gave him 100 flint. And only one of them. I got a thousand out of it? Fucking rip off, dude. Fucking rip off. 
biggest ripoff of my life, if I ever did say. Okay, let's see how far we can get into Goron City so I can buy some outfits. A spud can eat molten glass. Yeah, sure, spud, go for it. I mean, you won't live long. You're not going to live very long eating molten glass. In fact, you'll probably... <laughs> Most likely, you know, just completely collapse uh, before you even get close to a first bite. But, you know, who am I to stop you from eating that molten glass? Doing doing what you dreamed of doing, you know? Well, the Luigi's are built different. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Spud, you are free to eat all the molten glass you want. And by all, I mean the two yeah. seconds that you will live. Hold on, let's observe real quick. Ah, oh, yes. Wait, he's gonna do it again? Pat them titties. Nobody at Nintendo thought, hmm. <laughs> this guy is gonna be sitting here patting them titties. The titty slaps. <laughs> We're almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. A chill sandwich. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. They're like, mm, this hunk out in this and this beautiful water. Let him slap them titties. <laughs> hey, guy, how are you doing? This marbled rock roast is mine, mine, all oh, mine. Damn it, nobody. Gets a single bite. If you want some of your own head for Goron City, it's up this path. Okay, yeah, you, you, does it look like I'm able to eat this rock? The answer is no, there, bud. Selfish asshat. <laughs> let me eat some rock. My teeth won't let me, but damn, I'll try. I need to leave the premises immediately. I'm a threat to public safety. <laughs> Probably more of a threat to yourself. What's that? Is that another man? Ooh, that's another hunk of a man, dude. What is up with all these chads out here in Goron City? Whoever, what was it? Morg? Great choice on really, really rooting for uh, going to Goron City. Like, a plus. <laughs> A plus choice here. He's looking for fire lizards. Oh my god, this guy's built. Oh, didn't see you there. I've got fireproof lizards on the brain. So, uh, did you need something? I'm kind of bridger. No, I already know about fireproof lizards. These fireproof lizards are sensitive to noise, and catching them is hard enough as is. Okay. Well, um. Don't mind me. Fireproof lizards are sensitive to noise, right guys? So, um... Just give me one minute. Gotta make sure this guy can find all those lizards. Did that do it? <laughs> Might have been overkill with that, but you know... Worth it. You get like one extra rupee, I swear. I need to get more lizards. To take me to 2 a.m. I hat breakfast for my birthday. Yo, yes, go! Go! Do that 2 a.m. I hot breakfast. Bre birthday breakfast. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did I just blow up a little lizard? No. No, I didn't. If you hit them with like arrows, what or what? I mean, you can hit them with anything. Um, they drop rupees. Oh my god, they literally have a full blown just dude. I'm in Goron City, but I'm not lit up on fire. How am I not lit up on fire right now? 
Is there no lava? What is happening? Sir? Oh, hey! Wasn't expecting to run into another Helian here. You're like the third guy to say that. Traveling around these parts isn't exactly easy, what with the Gorons acting all weird and whatnot. I swear, you can't hardly carry on a conversation with them anymore. Ugh, I can't believe it. I went to so much trouble to travel to Goron City and find Simmerstone Springs. Uh. Don't tell me you've never heard of Simmerstone Springs. What? Really? Eh, I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I didn't really know that much about the place either. I just know there is the secret hot spring called Simmerstone Springs somewhere near Goron ah. City. But, well, I guess that's what makes it a secret hot spring. Only those in the know know. In the know know about it, you know? I think I'm gonna do is what I'm going to do is try and talk to some hot spring bus at the hot secret hot the not secret hot springs see if they know where it is this whole guy's conversation is a tongue twister hmm I suppose go around hot springs that's a good place to start maybe I'll look up and look up on the map later okay fucking oh that conversation hurt me a little bit coffee but decaf hell yeah There is nothing else I need. Oh, guess you can't tell what's worth your rupees. Even if diamonds are priced at half of the normal, the only rock worth anything is marbled rock roast. I can't sell you junk. You can't sell me diamonds? Oh no. Local drunk. Passed out. What's going on? Mm. Crane, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marbled rock roast. Aww. So everybody's acting funny because... Because of the marbled rock roast. That president Yanoba was mining. Whoops. Hey. Totally gave the kid a really deep voice. <clears throat> what are you mumbling about over there? Oh. Oh. Look at those little baby legs. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Oh. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Oh my god. Huh? What could you want? Uh, to beat your ass, because you're kind of a little punk, dude. Oh. You know about a little jackass? Is Goron a wrestler? That's what I'm wondering, man. <laughs> well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny, I barely even noticed ya. Yanobo, what's the big idea, talking like that to our esteemed guest? Huh. Bluto, or should I say boss? You really know your place, oh. do ya? Slegro. Sleg... Slergo? Slergo? Tell me who runs Goron City these days. You know, Boko. Hey. And Offrak, who's in charge of You know, Boko? Aww. You are president, You know, Bo. Huh? You hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here <sighs> anymore. You think I'm just gonna sit here oh. and. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Huh? Princess Zelda, huh? You're wondering about the strange goings on? <clears throat> going, goings on? Goings on? Going, going on? Princess Zelda, I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers after all. Oh. Locks? Does that, does that mean hair? Oh, oh, ho, the lady with the hair. The, she's the same one President Yenobu talks about marbled rock roast. Talk to about marbled rock oh. roast. Pipe down, you two. You'll keep her trap shut if you know what's good oh. for you. As you can see, Goron City is a picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda. So you better shove off. Huh. I've got to get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Hey. 
You know, but I swear, if you bring any more of that stuff, I'll... Oh, erg, my aching back. Sloggy old guy, sticking your nose into things where you've got your spine... When you've got your spine to worry about. Slayer go off... Off rack? Time to head back to the Yonobo headquarters. Oh, roll out, gang. <laughs> Jesus fucking heck, man. <laughs> Autobots, roll out. Oh my god. I'm dead. All right, so we had children running the Rito village. Now we got old men running the Rito or running the Goron village. Like, what the hell is going on here? Where's the lava at? Why can I just walk around Goron City? I don't understand. Oh, there's the fireproof outfit. Ah, a customer. Only reason I'm still running this place is because Boss Bluto will get mad if I close up shop. If I had it my way, I'd quit and live out my days covered in a massive pile of beautiful marbled rock roast. Okay. I hate dealing with customers. Bug pile outside with whatever questions you got. Okay, cool. I feel- you know what? I get it. I feel it. I understand. Okay, back when the mountain was active, had tons of lava, flame resistant. Okay, let's go. Let's buy the outfit. Thank you. That's why I'm selling it dirt cheap. Yep, I'm gonna buy it. Thanks, bud. Okay, give it. Give me. Give it to me. Dirt cheap. This is dirt cheap. I'm Mr. Rudos. Sexy redheads. Aren't we happy we came here? Of, of course. We got like these like like buffed daddy uh, Hylian men just in water like slapping titties. The fucking Gorons are rolling everywhere. This is great. This is great. I'm still confused why the lava's not here, but you know. Who am I to question what happened here? All the hot springs are taking over. Didn't this- this was lava at one point, was it not? Yikes. All these old men doing all the work now. Oh, <laughs> these poor babies. <laughs> I'll take the cane sugar though, this shit's hard to find. Take them all, man. Take them all. Well, we'll do a vote and you guys get to choose whether we do Gerudo's or the Zor uh, Zora's next. I love Gorons literally, same. In every game, Gorons are sweet, precious babies and I love them. I love them so fucking much. And I love their music. The Goron theme is like everything I've wanted. All right, what do you have to say? Hey, fella, what are you thinking strolling into the war, this war zone? You must have seen the beware of Gorons going wild for Primo Red Rocks headline in the paper, right? <laughs> what headline? Are you kidding me? You don't read the papers here? Let me give you a sample of the paper peerless reporting. Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron City bound travelers should exercise caution. And you see who wrote that? Me, Duma, reporter extraordinaire. What have you got? What, blah, 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 blah. what? you've never heard of me? Yeah, but that's yesterday's news. Time is money and I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back to the trail of the great mystery. It's something so secret that nobody's figured it out. <clears throat> hey, now that's part where you're supposed to ask the great mystery. Ah, oh, geez, I hate to let this slip, but since you want want to know so badly i guess i'll let you in on it we all know gorons live underground way back when but the particulars are still a total mystery we all know is this place named gorondia Gor gorondia 
and you're lucky to even get that. Ask most Gorons and they'll tell you they don't know a thing. But I am gonna tell let that stop me? No, because I'm an awesome reporter. Are we gonna go to like like Ocarina of Time underground Goron City? I'm gonna get the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. Aww. Duma's Guide to the Unknown is gonna fly off the shelves. Time to start practicing my signature. All right, you have fun with that. Have a good time. Who should I talk to? Okay. Many of the Gorons in the Goron City are ravagely eating marbled rock roast. Yunobo and a blonde woman seem to be involved with this new rock. Yunobo and the others are now heading for Yunobo headquarters. Okay, so Yunobo headquarters up a ways. Okay, cool. Absolutely, Willy. Give your mom lots of love, lots of hugs. All right. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to throw it against the thing, but then I saw this lizard and you know, to me, lizard, way more valuable. <laughs> Whoops. Another lizard. My lizard. My lizard now. Look, another, uh, Buff daddy go- wow, look at the difference between <laughs> Link and this guy. Uh, Ugh, even if I wanted to move the cart, I won't be able to- uh, won't be happening with the safety of officers so preoccupied. Didn't get any work done today, thanks to them. Marbled rock roast, I think it's called. Ever since President Yunobo started mining the stuff, everyone's been too busy with it to care about work. Uh. I don't eat it, so I'm doing fine. I get the sense that stuff's not great for you. Well, I mean, you are a Helian, so I can't imagine eating a rock being the best thing for you. But who am I? Who am I? Lizards are cool pets. There's a weird haze in the minecart area, but nothing looks, nothing looks off other than that. Oh, and a weird haze on Death Mountain, but nothing off other than that. Yeah, you know, that doesn't look too suspicious, honestly. You know, you know, looks safe over there, don't you think? Looks like a safe place to be. What's this? What's going on over here? Is that, is that his headquarters? Did he literally put his face? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This guy, vain as ever. Hey, you here to work with Yunobo Code 2? If you are, oh. there it is. Modest one. It's such a modest person, you know? It's the most modest and humble Goron in all of Goron City. Weird ass glowing it. Yeah, just slight. You know, nothing sus. Nothing sus. Nothing sus with the glowing haze going on in the mountain or anything. <laughs> Oh my god, you might want to bag the whole thing. Uh, whole thing. Everything was dandy until the upheaval, but now Yunoboko, well, it's President Yunobo himself, really. Aww. He's gone and made a real mess of things with the marbled rock roast. All right. Thank you for the information, Buff Daddy Helian. It won't budge. Uh Pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the tracks if you get this mine, if you use this minecart, but how do you make it move? I bet the ancient city Gorondia is over there. Huh. What? Hey, who are you, guy? Me? I'm doing. I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Gorondia is the legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there too. They had even more advanced technology than we do now, and I heard they used to ride strange vehicles. Oh. I wanted to use the minecart to search for the treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone all my secrets, okay? Oh my god, shall we go to Gorondia? I think we need to go to <laughs> Gorondia. Okay, let's see. And... I need to go there. There was another one. There was another shrine around here, wasn't there? 
I swear there was. Okay, let's go to Gorondia real quick. Hold on. That sounds like a great place to visit. Like, honestly. Oh, no, there's a Korok over there. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, that's what I wanted. Little Korok buddy. He's like right here. Watch, his friend's gonna be in Goron- Gorondia? Gorondia. Am I even saying that right? I feel like I'm not. Alright, let's plop this bitch down. Okay, great. And then we're going to- let's see, let's get the fan here. Take that out. Groovy. Beautiful. Uh, Randy? Now it's this way, is it not? Okay, well, I made it, so should I talk to this kid? It's down the tracks, there's monsters around, so I can't right, car going. Try it out now? Huh? Why did you fix it? And how did you know I wanted it fixed? I mean, kid, you kind of told me you wanted it fixed, so... <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm saved, okay, here I go! Wait, no, wait, kid, are you not gonna take me with you? Oh, okay, thank god. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I thought the kid was gonna take off without me. Well, this doesn't seem like the right place to go. It's Yonobo headquarters. Whoa, I can see you Unobo, know, Unobo headquarters. This must mean I made it to the other end of the track. Okay, now what? Uh, Since I made it down the track, I've got to know. I, uh, all I've got to do now is look for Gorondia. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, hey, guy. How come you're still here? This kid is like... Everywhere. You probably want a reward, huh? Yeah, well, that'd be great, actually. Thanks. I'm gonna find the treasure worth so it's much more than I'm gonna be rich. Once I'm rich, I'll hire you, guy. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Oh, there he goes. Oh, great. That's all I needed to do was get the kid over here? Are you kidding me? That's it? I want to find Gor- Gorondia. Gorondia? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe it's in this cave here. I bet you it's in that cave. Alright. Let's give it a go. Come back to this modest man's place here. Oh, never mind. The children will not let me go. Hey, it's you again, the one who knows President Yonobo. He's talking about marbled rock roast with the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in again, or come in. I don't really like that lady. But it's definitely the marbled rock roast fault for everyone acting funny. Aww. Yeah, President Yonobo said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady, too. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Aww. The wrestler mask made him a meanie? Hey, you're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know, he... You know how he created Yonobo Co. for mining. It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it was just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince President Yonobo to make Yonobo Co. stop mining marbled rock roast? I'll see what I can do. Did you hear that? Sure did. Maybe he'll get President Yonobo to be himself again. Go right on in. Wow, you guys are great guards. Abs <laughs> Absolutely fantastic guards. It's like the mask and Nacho Libro had a child. Libro had a child. Majora's mask, maybe? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I wonder if it's like connected or something. I just want, I just want Yonobo to, to do that. Nacho! Libre. Or what would he say? Yonobo! Co. <laughs> I don't like how open this area. This area is very open. Oh boy. 
Oh no. That is Zelda. Interesting. Uh, Meh. Cut it out already, President Yenobo. Uh, we want you to make off that take off that weird mask so you can go back to the present Yenobo we know and love. Boys. What is happening? Why is that? Wait. Princess Zelda's right. Marbled rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. I had a feeling this was going to be a boss fight. I'm trying to wrap my brain around. What's happening though? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What would help me here? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh good, he's out. Oh. Oh! Oh, he's... Oh, he's sumo wrestling me. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're fine, we're good. Oh, I can't do anything unless he's knocked out. Born to be wild. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think he needs to hit a certain rock formation. Nope, does nothing. Okay, he needs to hit something. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. What did he hit earlier? What if I have him hit this? Nope. I gotta really wait for him to like knock him knock himself out. What does he need to hit? He needs to hit something, clearly. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we want to eat? Here, let's eat. We'll eat some cake. I guess it's like he's got to hit the. Be a good thing for him to hit. Maybe this right here. Oh, oh god, he just went flying out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. Oop, that made him mad. Okay, one more good hit might do it. Let's try and have him hit this. Did that do it? Yeah, that did it. Okay, so he needed to hit those little red things. Oh, look at those little baby cheeks. Sweet little baby cheeks. Hmm? What happened? <laughs> I remember when he was a small little baby. So I grow off rack. I don't understand. Oh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story oh. is. Hey, where is she anyway? Huh? Ah, Princess Zelda! <laughs> I'm still confused. Huh? Is that not Zelda and like, like, homie, I don't know, making like a, a false like a uh, pretend figure of her to like fool people huh? that's my guess you should when you do play it oh gosh i have been addicted to this game i've been doing a lot of side missions too is everyone all right nobody's injured I'm trying to figure what Zelda's game is at here, if that's even Zelda. What's that? I thought I heard something. Huh? 
Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda is just outside the cave. That blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Yeah, and I need to ask her about the, the mask and the marbled rock roast. We gotta hurry and talk. I, I'm curious if that's even her. The only way to break those red rocks is by with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. So are we? So all of the kids, basically, like the young little babies from <clears throat> Breath of the Wild, they're all grown up now. So are we like, are the kids from Breath of the Wild, like the main kids, you know who I'm talking about, they're going to be the ones that help us in this game, I'm guessing? Because Yunobo was like wee small in Breath of the Wild. I think, if I remember right, he was at least a kid. Be my eyes and guide me, Goro. Yunobo's power of fire. When Yunobo's aura is charged, he can be aimed at any in any direction for a fiery roll attack. Goro! All right, go. Yeah, go. Oh man, Brad, you're gonna come in some serious handy, dear dude. Hold on, I want to try something. Can you do like the lower ones too? Oh my god, it's like playing bowling with this guy. <laughs> Here I go. He's just a bowling ball. <laughs> That's dope as hell. Huh. That did the trick. Come on, boys. Let's go after Princess Zelda. Oh. Oh, he tried to roll out. <laughs> He tried to roll off, but I stopped him. I body blocked him. Huh? Between Breath of the Wild and this, only by like a few years or so. Like it hasn't been like too terribly long as far as I know. Mm. Mm, Princess Zelda, I've not seen her. Hmm. Huh. What? That red haze spouting. What's that red haze spouting from the Death Mountain, oh. Goro? I don't remember, Princess President Yunobo. You told us that the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. Aww. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly and you were worried about Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. Ah. Yeah, and then you came back from the mountain, you were wearing that mask. Oh. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me the mask to wear. Oh. So does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? Mm. Well, she def uh, well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find oh. her. Slagro? Clairgo. Slirgo? Slergo. Offra. I'm gonna not get this kid's name. Offrak, I'm gonna go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but. I'll sort this out. I'll ask her how to get everyone back to normal. Ooh. So way back home for me, everything is going to be a-okay. Oh, <laughs> look at the babies. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Yep, no worries on that, bud. All right. All right, we're just cruising right along. 